And we are back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. And for the final part of the show, we are going to go over the current standings after week eight. But before I get into that, so uh, I just saw looking at social media during the break. Uh, so it is confirmed that the Raiders are going to start Aiden O'Connell. Um, they are going to do that. Uh they're going to start him over Jimmy Garoppolo. They're going to start him this week against the Giants and moving forward. So, uh, yeah, so that answers your question. I mean, we're talking about it throughout the, throughout the show. Like, is that what they're going to do? And that's exactly uh, what's going to happen. So, uh, so Josh in the chat says, would you trade Russ Smythe and James Conner for Lamar Jackson and Gerald Everett? 20-man PPR. Um. Roster is Russ, JT, Aaron Jones, Tyree Kill, Christian Kirk, Kittle, and Jacoby Myers. So this is a fantasy question. Um, yeah, I, I mean, to get Lamar Jackson, I, I'd probably do that. I mean, you got Jonathan Taylor and Aaron Jones. Um, I, I mean, yeah, I would do that. I mean, Lamar's been better than Russell Wilson in fantasy, so I would do that. Um, 20-man PPR, I mean, that's... That's wild, doing a 20-man league. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, breaking news, fantasy questions. I mean, this segment's off to a great start. Um, I appreciate that. I appreciate the comment, Josh. So that's what I would do. I, I would get Lamar Jackson. I mean, you know, I mean, Russ hasn't been terrible for fantasy this year, but, you know, I, I think you're getting an upgrade at position when you're getting, um, when you're getting Lamar. So uh, if you are the one getting Lamar Jackson. I mean, if you're the one that's, like, giving up Lamar, I, I probably, like, don't do that. But, uh, you know, James Conner's hurt. So, uh, you know, and if, you, and if you're the one that has Aaron Jones and Jonathan Taylor, like, yeah, you probably do it. And I'm surprised you actually have that team in a 20-man PPR. If that's, like, that's wild. You got Jonathan Taylor, Tyreek. Well, then again, Jonathan Taylor was, uh, you know, out the first few weeks. So, you know, his stock wasn't as high, but, um, yeah, I mean, if you're getting Lamar Jackson, like, get him, so. Uh, but speaking of Lamar Jackson, and I just talked about the Jags, uh, you know, and their defense. So, uh, right now, when you look at, you know, the division leaders, so you got the Chiefs leading the West, you got the Dolphins leading the AFC East, you got the Jags leading the South, and you got the Ravens leading the North. All these teams are 6-2. and two. And I, I talked about this, I think, yesterday. It's a big week for these teams, you know, because if, you know, if one of you guys loses, if one of them loses, you know, then, uh, you know, then you're, you could be, uh, you could go from being like first or second in the, uh, in the conference to being number four, um, you know, and then if you're one of the teams that are, you know, third seed or the fourth seed, you could jump up a spot, a couple spots, you know, the Jags and the Ravens right now are the three and the four. Chiefs and the Dolphins play each other this week. So, like, if one of those teams loses and, you know, um, actually, wait, are the Jags? Well, the Jags are on their bye, so the, the, they're going to move down regardless. Um, well, they or they stay the same, depending on if the Ravens uh, defeat Seattle. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a big game for the Chiefs, for the Dolphins. Uh, Ravens, I mean, they got a tough game against Seattle, so we'll see what happens. But, yeah, all those teams are 6-2 and two right now, so it's anybody's game for that, uh, that number one seed at the moment. Then um, in the wild card spots, you got the Bills at 5-3, and three, you got the Steelers at 4-3, and three, Browns are 4-3, and three, and then you got the Jets and the Bengals who are also 4-3. There's, there's a, a few 3-4 and four teams, the Texans, the Titans, and the Chargers. I mean, we'll see. I mean, the Titans, they traded Kevin Byard. Um, so their secondary is a little weaker, but I mean, they just won against the Falcons and, you know, if Will Levis plays like that, I mean, you know, with Derrick Henry running the ball and you got DeAndre Hopkins, I mean, I don't know, maybe you sneak in. I don't, I don't think so, but, um, then you got the three and five teams, the Colts, the Raiders and the Broncos, they're a game and a half back. Patriots are two and six, they're two and a half games back. So that's in the AFC. Um, I mean, the Bengals are a team that's that's on the come up. Um, you know, they've really put together a good few weeks. Joe Burrow looks like he's healthy and they got the bills on Sunday night at home. I think they should, uh, 
We'll see what happens with that game. I'm not going to make the prediction yet, but we'll wait. We'll save that for Friday. Um, and the Jets are four and three. I, I mean, I, I think the Jets and the Bengals, they're going to get in. Um, I, you know, the Bengals, you know, it's still kind of an uphill battle to try to win this division, but I think they could still do it, you know, um, the Ravens, obviously with, with them playing well, I mean, it's going to be tough, but you know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but, uh, that's in the, uh, so that's in the AFC. Then you move over to the NFC, got the Eagles at seven and one, you got the Lions at six and two, Seahawks five and two, Falcons four and four. Um, I, I think the Niners are still going to win the division. I mean, I said that. I, I know I know they're struggling right now, but I think they should be able to figure it out and, you know, right the ship. But, um, you know, right now, uh, hasn't been a good few weeks. But now you got Chase Young, so that helps out their defensive line. Still kind of worried about their secondary, but I think they'll figure it out. They'll get healthy. And they're just going through a rough patch right now. Um, but, I mean, again, you still got to be worried about how Brock Purdy's playing with him turning the ball over because uh, that was something he really wasn't doing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, give Seattle credit. Seattle's still a good team. I don't want to uh, discredit them. Um, you know, they got the Ravens this week, like I just said. So that's going to be a tough game. But then they got the Commanders, and they're at the Rams, home against the Niners, at Cowboys, at the Niners, uh, home against the Eagles. Uh, then they're at Tennessee, home against the Steelers. And then at Arizona, so we'll see. I mean, this is this team could definitely win, you know, nine, ten games, um, and definitely be a wild card team. I I, I think it's safe to say that, uh, you know, they got in last year thanks to the Lions defeating the Packers. But you know, they they got a good offense. Um, you know, they're, they're kind of they're struggling with the red zone offense though. Um, you know, Geno Smith's had a couple of turnovers in the red zone, so they're kind of looking to uh, correct that. But um, you know, I, I mean, they uh, they've been uh, they've been good this year. Um, so we'll see what happens moving forward. But I, I think the Niners they take the division, and then as for the NFC South, I mean, I I have no idea. I have no idea what to say about that division right now. Um, right now, the Falcons have it. I think you start Heineke moving forward. I think that's probably the best possible thing that they can do. You know, the Saints they picked up a win this past week against the Colts. So right now they're tied. Um, I, I just, I, I really have no idea who's going to win that division. I have no clue, but right now with the wild cards, it's the Cowboys, the Niners and the Vikings. So you got the saints, you got the bucks who are there. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I think the teams, I think really you got the saints and the bucks. I mean, can the Rams still make a run at it? Yeah, but they just, they haven't looked good the last couple of weeks. So I'm not really that high on them at the moment. Washington, they traded their two, uh, two of their defensive linemen, so you, you think they're kind of mailing it in a little bit for this year. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, right now, I mean, you look at the Bucks and the Saints who are on the outside looking in, that's kind of like who I would look at, you know, to maybe try to sneak in and get another wild card. Because um, the Cowboys, they're going to get one. Niners or the Seahawks is going to get one. So that's going to leave... It between the Vikings, the Saints, and the Buccaneers. At the moment. But right now, you got to like the Vikings. Because if Josh Dobbs comes in and plays well at quarterback, you get Jefferson back, I mean, they should be able to... I, I think the Vikings, you, you like them out of those teams because the Saints are inconsistent. The Bucks have been bad these last couple weeks. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I mean, does a 2-6 and six team make a run and somehow get themselves in the conversation? I mean, you got the Giants and the Bears... I don't think so. I think really right now you just got to focus on the Bucks, the Saints, the Vikings, who are going to be fighting for that last wild card spot. So, um, and then as for the divisions, I, I mean, the Eagles, I think, I mean, we'll see what happens this weekend. Another big game, Cowboys at Philadelphia. So, you know, that should be a, that's a game that I'm excited for. Uh, Cowboys are a game and a half back in the NFC East. Um, the Lions, they lead by two games in the north that's their division i don't i don't think anybody's catching them um the south i mean you know i talked about it yesterday no idea who's going to win this division i have no, i really have no clue no idea um then you got uh 
you know, the NFC West right now, the Niners are a half game back. I mean, I, I think they're still going to win the division, but again, they're, they're, uh, they're kind of going through a, a rough stretch, losing three in a row. Then over in the AFC East side of things, or the AFC side of things, the AFC East Dolphins currently lead that by a game over the Bills. Um, could come down to that last game of the regular season. I keep saying it. I hope it does because that would be exciting. Uh, the Ravens right now lead the AFC North by a game and a half over every team. Every other team has a 4-3 and three record. But again, I still like the Bengals to win the division, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, you know, the Jags in the South, they're up two and a half games on the Texans and the Titans. They're going to win that division, I believe. And then obviously in the AFC West, you got the Chiefs who are six and two. They're going to win that division. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's it with the current standings. Um, you know, we'll see. I mean, some of these, I mean, it's going to come down to the last week of the regular season. You got the wild cards, you got, you know, some teams fighting for it, you know, in both conferences. Because now with that extra wild card, I mean, there's more teams, you know, basically in the playoff race. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it all goes. Um, you know, obviously we're half we're halfway through the season. There's still a lot of season left to be played. And, uh, you know, things are definitely going to change. I mean, the NFC South is going to be something that changes from week to week pretty much. Um, you know, and like I said, I, I think going forward, if you're the Falcons, you start Taylor Heineke. I mean, you just have to do that. Because Desmond Ritter just has not been playing well. And then for the Saints, like, can they figure it out? You know, like I said, they got the talent to do it. And, you know, can the Bucks get back on the right track? Because they've been struggling too. You know, after I came out with the video talking about if they're legit. I mean, their defense is still playing good. It's just their offense really just uh, is struggling. They don't run the football well. Um, you know, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um and, uh, you know, a lot of big games this weekend, which we'll talk about, you know, within the, the, the next, over the next couple of days. The Sunday night game is huge. Uh, the, um, you know, Cowboys-Eagles game is huge. Then you got the uh, the Germany game between the Dolphins and the Chiefs. Tyreek Hill is going to be playing against his former team. And he said uh, he's excited to see his former teammates. He said he's going to talk trash to his former quarterback, uh, Patrick Mahomes. So, uh, and obviously the Chiefs, they're coming off of that rough game against the uh, the Broncos. So, um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting weekend. This slate of games is going to be pretty good. Uh, the week gets kicked off. Uh, the week starts. I don't know what, what I was saying there. The week kicks off tomorrow, starting with the Titans and the Steelers. So, uh, you know, we'll see how that game goes. You got Will Levis against, uh, most likely Kenny Pickett because he said he was for sure playing. So I guess, um, but, um, yeah, so that'll get, get us started. Um, so we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the show today. Obviously, uh, I apologize for some uh, some technical issues that, issues that we had, um, again, with my camera freezing. I mean, that's happened once in a while, but it's not a huge deal. Um, but, yeah, so, uh, you know, look out for uh, yesterday's show to be reposted today. i got to work on that. Um, so that'll be up during the day. So in case you missed anything, that'll be up. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back again tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern time streaming so make sure to tune in for it and until then i'm kenneth grunfelder signing off from the gsmc football podcast brought to you by the gsmc sports network have a good day and i will talk to you guys tomorrow take care